Mr. Merkid here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a user counter which will display the number of users online on your tool at the one time. So three people could be online and it will display three. So that sort of thing. Now someone commented that so that's why I'm making this. If so if you do want something made please leave a comment. Uh, nothing modding wise I no longer do that. I see a lot of modding comments but no I no longer will be doing that. So anything else and that will be fine. So in this video we're going to be using PHP to connect to this file to control something on a server so we're going to be using a web posting for this you can use free web posting uh, just make sure that you can access it and all that so what we're going to be doing is create a PHP file so let me quickly go ahead and create that so we need to just quickly declare that it is a PHP file uh, like that and inside here we just want a few things now if you th what we want to do is basically have a, this this file here is going to control a text file on our server so this text file by default will contain zero uh, and when the new user comes on we're going to add that to a one and if they go off we'll do uh, deduct one and so on so it's pretty straightforward so what we want to do is just create something that will get the action we want to do from the actual link so we can call this type and that will be equal to underscore get and let's just call this action so we can use action from our link or from within our link I want to say if type is equal to let's say add that will be for adding a user like that uh, and then else if type is equal to let's say we want to deduct one let's call it take and then that will be our little wish statement which will control our actions so now what we want to do is read the text file on our server we don't actually have that uh, you shouldn't have these files these are just this is like a test host and I use um, ignore all of this but I just don't want to remove it so we want to create a new file real quick and inside there's not going to be any code there's just going to be a zero and we want to call this users.txt and press save. So zeros are default online count. So now you'll see there's users.txt on our server. So now we can use that. So we actually want to open this file so we can use it within this PHP file. And we can call this R users. And that'll be just short for read, read users. And that'll be equal to F open because we want to open the file. And we want to open the file called users.txt and then we need to tell it what we want to do with this file so we can just use r which lets it know we want to read it and then if it fails or die now we can say there was an error just in case there was an error it will let us know that it couldn't access our file now below this we want to have something to store the number that it pulled from this file so we can call this count because uh, we want to count the users and that will be equal to f read because we want to actually read the file now. The file we want to read will be our, our users because that is our file here. So we can just say our users there and then we need to give it or tell it the file size of the file we want to read. We can just use file size in brackets users.txt again like that. Now below here we want to specify some text which we want to write to this file. So the text we want to write would be the number, the number we just grabbed. So we can say count, except we want to add one to it in the case add. So plus equal to one, like so. Now what we want to do is actually write to the file. So what we can do is say, or call this one W users, short for write users, and that'll be equal to F open again, and then users.txt, and instead of reading this time, we want to put W, which is for write, and then or die error, like so. And now we want to actually write to it, so we can use F write, and we want to write to the file which is stored under w users and we want to write our text we want to write this text to this file like so 
Now we want to get rid of our connection, so we can use F close for that. And we want to get rid of W users. And we also want to get rid of uh, R users. Like so, and that should be good. Now in the we can copy this to save us time because it's going to be exactly the same for take, except instead of adding a user, we want to minus a user like that. And we can save this file now. Um, save it to your desktop as uh, a PHP hypertext file, and we can just call this count and save that. Now I'll go over what this does in a second, but let's just get the basics over and done with. Let's quickly upload this file to our server account. Now we can actually access this file. So to access it, we want to do forward slash count. You'll see that it's there because I didn't test in with this before. And we, we got the action which we made, and then obviously we're adding. So this will add one to it. Now this file doesn't actually display anything because we didn't make it display anything. It's just controlling a text file. But if we were to go in to let's say storefront dot holes ignore the domain um, slash users dot text uh, what did I do users dot text you see that it's a zero so let's go into that add refresh Ah, so no. So what went wrong is we missed that. Like so, silly mistake on my behalf. Uh, so let's just re-upload this file. I don't really um, code PHP, so if you see any mistakes, that is probably why. You can see it's gone to one now. If we refresh it. It will go to 2. Now if we change add to take, it should go back down to 1. If we refresh that page again, our file has gone back down to 0. So now that's working. All we need to do now is go into our file and our project. What we want to do, if you want to add this into your program, you want to get a label. And let's call this online users. Uh, copy this again because we want to use another label to store the number really it's much easier and by default we'll just have that as zero like that uh, let's just move that along now in form load we want to actually display it so but first of all we want to create the web client dimw client as new system dot net dot web client now by default we want to say label two dot text is equal to w client dot download string and we what what we want to do is on, on form load we want to use our link but because the form's loading we actually want to use add because a new user is connecting to the tool. Like so. Uh, also what we would want to do is if you come to here uh, where it says load and you want to scroll up and find form closing and go inside this sub uh, we can copy this code again except we don't want the label text we just want to connect to the file and we want to take it away so when the forms opened it's going to add a number so obviously it's going to be one and then when it's closing it's going to take again so the user's going offline uh, and also we would want to start a timer one here and uh, let's just create that timer real quick the reason for this is we'll use the timer to update this so if a new user comes online from somewhere else it will also update it and show so if we go inside this timer we can copy this code like so Actually, what I did wrong was we want to connect to that file first, but we actually want to display on the label. What we want to display is users 
app.txt because that displays our count. So inside the timer, we want to display the count. Uh, what did I do wrong? Let me delete that part. It's sort of got messy here. So what that's going to do is each tick of the timer is going to display how many users are in the text file. Uh, and also we're adding and taking it away on events. So let me launch that up. And you'll see online users is one become because it's just us. Now if I go into the debug folder and open it up and try and get it at the same time you'll see that it should go to two. So there we go, we've got two. Now if I close this one, it's gone to one. So that is how that works. So that's it working. Um probably best if you don't update it as often as that time is doing um, maybe you can have it to every 10 seconds it'll update and how you do that is you click the timer and add 10,000 and that'll make 10 seconds uh, so that's really it uh, here's the code for you I will leave it in the description if you want it uh, so thank you for watching uh, remember if you have any requests or things you want to see for the future please be sure to let me know in the comments below um, and as always please be sure to leave a like and comment on the video and I'll see you next time